George, extraordinary game, but you must be very pleased to get the win after those two defeats on the road. Yeah, I, I thought it was a good spectacle for a neutral. Uh, a bit stressful for both coaches, I'd say, but um, yeah, look, I, I was really pleased with the boys, like you say. We, we've um, we've had a couple of losses on the trot and, and a week off in between that, so um, you know, not too much to celebrate. Albeit, I, I wasn't upset with the way we've been playing. I think, to be honest, Exeter and Leicester were just better than us on the day, and we took a lot of lessons from that. And I, I actually thought the halfbacks managed the game really well today. I think there was a few switch-off moments, we'd call them. Um, and Saints also pulled some sheer class out of nowhere, you know, when they're in this corner here and they end up scoring down the other end. You know, there's not many teams can do that. And we've got to address, you know, with our game plan, how we how we negate that. But, um, yeah, fast and furious. And like you say, at the end of the day, it's just nice to get a win. You bookended the first half, didn't you, with tries at the opening and the close of that half. Uh, what happened in the middle? Because Saints looked a much slicker, more coordinated side. Yeah, I think I think they looked good, actually. I, I thought, uh, you know, testament to our defence to, to hold them out when they had a lot of possession. They looked very sharp. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'll have to watch it back, to be honest. Like I say, I was watching a lot of defending and I thought the boys did really well. And um, we had a couple of line-out plays we didn't quite execute and didn't, didn't quite get into our rhythm. I think that was one of the, the good parts as well, was we were 13 points down. I think we, we felt like we were stuttering a little bit and the boys just stayed on task and eventually, you know, ground it out. So that's very pleasing as well. Big game today from Tom Searwork. He thought he had his best game in the Gloucester shirt. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, Tommy's been working unbelievably hard since I've been here and, um, you know, he's been chomping at the bit to get a go. And I thought he went well at Leicester last week and then, um, you know, he, he did a good 60 minutes for us and rightfully he got to start today and he delivered a, a great try there, real confidence and throwing a nice little dummy in as well. Just when you needed it, you had a magical moment from Lewis Rees Zanis. Yeah, absolutely, and that and that is what Zam can bring, isn't it? And I know obviously he's um, he's had a, a disappointing couple of weeks from his point of view, so um, he wants to prove a point, and you know we're back him, and and that's exactly everyone likes seeing that. You know he's done that at Newcastle, and now he's done it at King's Own, which has uh, got everyone excited. And the bench seemed to have a big impact for you too. You got that real dominance in the driving ball going very effectively in the last 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't think we got to fire too many shots. I thought Saints were pretty disciplined around the middle of the park actually, and that didn't really allow us to get into our game. And um, you know, we, we again at Leicester away last week, they were very disciplined, and we we got no shots uh, in the corner. And you know, obviously that's a big strength for us, and, and um, people struggle to stop it. So. We were excited at the end and you know, I think that the lads going for corner rather than taking the three probably shows you where their heads are at. Uh, you have to be sharper next week at Selda. 100%. I, I mean, um, you know, it's a very, Saints and Sale, very different teams, you know, they're different threats, but Sale have got a huge pack, you know, very, very physical and, um, you know, they're, they're going really well as well. They've got a good run of form and um, it'll be tough. Going through these games, do you think you're at the top four side or at the top six side at the moment? Uh, I mean, look, I think I think there's a whole group in the middle of the table where it, it could look like anything by the end of the year, to be honest. And as I've said many, many times, I'm not too worried about where we sit in the table. I just want to make sure we're getting better and better. And, um, you know, games like today that, you know, we're not quite in our rhythm. If we can grind those out, I, I think we're in a lot better spot than we were last year. And by the end of the season, I want to be able to look back and go, we got better and better and won some games we would have lost the year before and then, and then we'll build nice into next year. So... Uh, whatever happens this year happens, but we're, we're very much focused on dealing with Saints and, and now, as you say, we've got to get ready for sale. And you've got over the line with some key leaders in your squad, absent today. Yeah, we, we had a bit of a mix around week, obviously, you know, great for Luds getting called into England and, and fingers crossed that, that you know, comes uh, to fruition. But yeah, at, at the end of the day, again, I'll, I'll go back to what I've said many times is we need a squad who everyone can step in, play together, the combinations, do different roles. I thought Ruan was brilliant at captain today. I thought he made really smart decisions, led really well. Um, you know, Bill on that as well, and, and, and that's where we need to be. So, um, you know, it's, it's the same with injuries, call-ups, all the rest of it. You, you, there's no point worrying about that. You've got to move on and get everybody as prepared you can. So um, I'm always excited, actually, when we get a little bit of turmoil in the week and someone goes missing or because it just means have we prepared people well enough to step in uh, no injuries I don't think so there was a couple of bangs at the end but I, I, you know there wasn't anything too um, drastic during the game uh, what a response from the crowd as well behind your squad sorry what a response from the crowd oh brilliant I mean uh, you know hopefully as I say the, the, everyone's enjoying coming and very proud of the lads and I think you know today's a good example of how hard they'll fight and you know we're not going to throw the towel in at any time and the support and the you know we score them all trying the corner and the place erupting and we're still we're still losing just gives the boys energy running back to to make it right and get the win. Thank you. Thanks a lot.